Hey, and welcome to another Saturday Storytime and Craft. I'm Mr. Corey. This week, we are going to be reading Sunny Side Up, and we're going to be making a watercolor collage. So that should be a lot of fun. But let's get into our book first. So like I said, it's called Sunny Side Up, and it is written by Jackie Davis with illustrations by Fiona Woodcock. I choose... I choose sunny side up eggs and toast with butter, please. Grape juice? Yes. Purple lips and happiness. Sounds tasty. Pull up in the shades to let the sunshine in and find. Oh no. Drips of gray sky covering everything. It's a rainy day. What to do? What to do on this rainy day? Daddy says, inside is where I have to stay. I jump up and down. I stomp my feet on the ground. I don't want to be stuck inside all day. I want to go outside and play. When the thunder clouds go clap, Daddy pulls me into his lap. He hugs me and holds me tight and says, playing inside will be all right. Okay, okay, I say. I will try and find fun my way. And I run. I run and slide and dive into the pillows where I hide. In a soft nest filled with baby birds that I feed. Squiggling red and blue yarn worms is what they need. I play. And I play with wooden blocks. I build buildings really tall and then bowl them over with a bouncy ball. Blocks scatter and fall. The ball bops down the hall. And outside, the rain won't stop. They can hear it. Drip, drip, drop. I duck. I duck under the tablecloth. It's my clubhouse, where I draw and think. I have paper, colored pencils, and a sippy drink. I make, I make, make-believe. Muffins and pies, ones that you might like to try. And outside the rain won't stop. You can hear it drip, drip, drop. It's so rainy. Daddy says it's time for real food, and then a nap. I eat tomato soup and grilled cheese. Okay, but after lunch, I want to play. I've had enough of this rainy day. And by the way, I howl and I weep. I won't. I won't nap. Daddy asked me to try. Try to use my words. I finally say I will. I will lie down and make, not make a sound and listen to the falling rain. And when I get up, I paint lots of pictures of clearing afternoon skies with yellow and blue birds flying high. And I read books and more books until mommy comes home. Then mommy and I go for a walk. We hold hands on the way to the park, sailing over puddles while the clouds move above our heads and the sun peeks in and out. Mommy pushed me on the swing. and We talk about our day and how badly I wanted to go outside and play. Mommy says that she understands and reminds me that the rain clouds always pass. Then I skip and hop in the drying grass. Spaghetti together, plus a treat. Yes, a treat for me. I choose strawberry ice cream. With sprinkles, please. When it's time for bed, two stories and one more are read. Warm cinnamon milk and a kiss in my head. I close I close my eyes and I dream about my sunny day where I found fun inside when it was gray.
the end. All right, so we are going to get into our craft now. Um, so the artist for this book, Fiona Woodcock, uh, some of the art in this book was made using watercolors. So we're gonna do some watercolor art of our own. Um, and we're gonna make a watercolor collage. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you signed up for the virtual to go kit, you should have all the materials you will need. Um, if not, um, we're just using watercolors and paper. Um, you might need some scissors too because we're gonna cut it out and make a collage at the end and some glue sticks. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. All right, so for our watercolor collage, we are gonna be making a couple small uh, watercolor paintings and then cutting them up and then reassembling them on our little canvas board. So in the kit, there are four pieces of watercolor paper, a cardboard square that we're gonna use as our canvas board, um, a watercolor set, and two sponge brushes. So um, it's up to you whether you use the sponge brushes. Um, I found that they were good for um, doing a lot of um, big spaces, but um, covering a lot of um, area on the, the paper but uh, I found the color didn't come as bright. Um, it was more, um, more subdued. Um, and then with the watercolor brush, um, it was uh, a little bit more time consuming uh, coloring the page, but it's up to you uh, which you use, or you can use both. I, I wound up using both. Uh, I, I started with the, the sponge brush and then kind of went back over um, all my paintings with the, the regular brush. But yeah, like I said, we are going to be painting on the little watercolor paper. Um, since we are gonna be cutting it up, um, you don't need to make anything super detailed. Um, you can just do like sort of simple shapes uh, and color patterns. Um, that's what I wound up doing. So like on one, um, I basically just did like, uh, some circles going back and forth between like red yellow and orange and then like uh, with the other ones I kind of did like stripes and wound up with one that was just a bunch of um, it was like a rainbow stripe pattern and then with the other two it was more just sort of um, loose gradients of like blue and purple and blue and green but yeah after you finish your painting, um, and then you're going to leave them out to dry. Um, it shouldn't take too long for them to dry. Uh, mine were dry in like five, uh, between like five and ten minutes. Um, then after they dry, then you can go with your scissors and start cutting them up. So I cut mine into um, little triangles or uh, some of them kind of close to triangle shape. Um, I went up with a couple like weird squares um, or rectangle well not squares some some uneven rectangles is what i wound up with but <laughs> for the most part it was uh i was going for little triangular shapes um but you can do different uh different shapes if you want like for example you could uh cut your pieces into uh little diamonds or you can cut the paper into strips um, or cut little circles, cut little heart shapes, uh, or star shapes, um, just whichever, um, however you want to go about doing it, uh, have, have fun with it. Um, but after everything is all cut up, um, this is, um, this was kind of my favorite part, uh, was the reassembling everything on the cardboard canvas. Um, so you're going to take the glue stick and sort of go over the canvas with the glue stick and then start arranging your pieces on uh, the canvas in whatever sort of pattern you want. Um, I kind of tried to do like sort of a rainbow pattern with my pieces. Um, after I had cut them up, I sort of separated them uh, kind of by the colors that they were. So like I had like uh, my warm colors on one side and then uh, my cool colors on the other side. Um, 
if you don't know, warm colors are yellow, orange, and red, and then cool is green, blue, and purple. Um, yeah, after I separated them, it was kind of like doing a reverse puzzle, um, sort of just sort of like assembling them, trying to like get all the pieces to fit um, without like sort of touching each other. Um, but it was it was fun. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy doing it and uh, just, just sort of arrange them however you like. Um, you can even like arrange them into the shape of something like you could uh, take your pieces and arrange them in the shape of like a heart or a star moon or anything like that um, for the most part after I cut them the first time I just sort of tried to make the pieces fit up on the board um, towards the end there was a couple spots where um, I had a couple tiny spaces and so like I went back with my scissors and cut a couple of the pieces up to make them a little smaller so that they would fit but yeah after that is done and you have everything glued up to the board you're finished um i wound up with like some extra pieces that i was going to save to make like a separate canvas so um feel free to do that uh if you if you want uh make a, a couple of them see how they turn out but yeah i hope you guys enjoy okay cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's craft. Um, if you want to share your art with me, um, feel free to either email it or send it um, over our social media page. I always like to see everybody's art um, because everybody does cool, different creative stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, check out our website, stuff at publiclibrary.com for upcoming programs and events. We have a lot of stuff planned for this summer, both in person, um, in the library, and at the park, um, as well as some virtual programs. So definitely check all of it out, um, and I will see you guys next time. Happy Saturday.